The achievements of Muslims in the field of mathematics are truly remarkable. They laid the foundation for Western mathematicians to develop on many centuries later, and the modern world really could not function without these amazing contributions. During the 11th century CE, Arabic became the language in which all work was written, and even non-Muslims wrote their mathematical works in Arabic. The Muslims introduced the number zero for counting, so extending the ancient Indian numbering system. This made arithmetic easy and applicable to everyday problems, especially in commerce and trade. So this was huge for the development of human civilization. In the 12th century CE, Western scholars used the zero after learning from the Muslims and introduced a system called algorithms. However, where did this term algorithm come from? Al-Khwarizmi, the distinguished Muslim mathematician, astronomer and geographer who is known as the father of algebra, had one of his works translated into Latin and his name, Al-Khwarizmi, was given in Latin as Algorithmi. Al-Khwarizmi also wrote a book in Arabic which translates to the book of restitution and comparison. Restitution is Jabr in Arabic and means adding to a given sum or multiplying it so that it becomes equal to another value. So algebra is from this word, al-jabr. So al-Khwarizmi is rightly known as the father of algebra. The West also learned the use of numerals from Muslims and naturally called them Arabic numerals. The symbols used today for numbers in the West are taken from the Arabic symbols. The Muslims also founded analytical geometry as well as plane and spherical trigonometry. By the end of the 10th century CE, Abu Kamil was one of the distinguished mathematicians of this period and perfected Al-Khwarizmi's work on algebra. He determined and constructed both roots of quadratic equations and made a special algebraic study of the pentagon and decagon. Regards the development of trigonometry, Abu al wafas contribution is truly remarkable. He was the first to show the generality of the sine theorem relative to spherical triangles. He gave a new method of constructing sine tables and calculated the value of sine 30 to 8 decimal places. Umar ibn Ibrahim al-Khayyam was one of the greatest Muslim mathematicians and astronomers of the Middle Ages. He mostly discussed cubic equations and made an ingenious classification of the equation based on how complex they were. The Banu Musa or sons of Musa also wrote a series of very important original studies, especially in geometry. Muhammad ibn Musa dealt with the measurement of the sphere and trisection of the angle. His brother, Ahmed ibn Musa, wrote a fundamental work on mechanics, while al Hassan ibn Musa wrote a study of the geometrical properties of the ellipse. al Hassan was perhaps the most gifted geometrician of his time. He translated the first six books of Euclid's elements and left the rest unfinished because he was able to work out the remaining propositions himself. Also, Abu al-Abbas Ahmad, a very popular Muslim writer, authored 74 works that dealt with mathematics and astronomy. One of his books, The Summary of Arithmetical Operations, was studied for at least two centuries and a French translation of it appeared in 1864 CE. So these are just some of the amazing contributions made by Muslims in the field of mathematics with the full support of the leaders at the time and essential for the functioning of the modern day world.